AdMob is Google ad provider for mobile games and application. It is pretty much an extension of the Google AdSense program. In order to use it, you will need to connect to AdMob using your Google account. Once connected to AdMob, you will have to create and define what kind of ads you will be using. And in this video, we will show you how to use banner ads and also interstitial ads, which are basically just video ads combined with a screen to download the content you just saw. When those ads presets are done, you will then receive an ad ID, which we will need to call from your game in order to actually retrieve that ad. And that's it really, so just find the proper moment to play your ads and then start monetizing your applications. Okay, so the first step to monetize with AdMob is to go over to their website, which is google.com slash AdMob. And then we will sign in. If you don't have an account, of course, you will have to sign up. You're going to be using your, um, your actual Google account, so the one you're logged in right now if you're watching a YouTube video, or the one uh, that saves your preference on Google. Once your AdMob account is ready, this is what you're going to see. So some kind of dashboard, you will go ahead and say, monetize a new app. Then you will just implement some information about your current app. If your app already exists on the market, then you can find it right here in this bar. It is going to search in Google Play, iTunes App Store, or if it is not already there, if it is not already published, you can also add your app manually. So I will do just that. I will call this Test App, and then I'll select my platform, so Android, and then Add App. You will get some more information about the ad you're trying to implement right now. So let's go ahead and start with a simple banner ad. Then you can choose if you want text, if you want image in there. And um, basically just removing one of them is going to shorten the amount of results you might get and you might get a lower CPM. So if you just enable both of them, you have bigger chances of making more money. Now as for the rest, it's just some simple information and you can also add a uh, ad unit name. So in this case, I just call mine um, top banner ad hit save and now as soon as we save this we get our ad unit ID this is what we are interested in so I will go ahead and just write this down somewhere on my other screen so you don't actually see it and we will create another ad unit since we're there this time it is going to be a video ad so this one so you can choose whether you'd like the text the image or the video ad you can just simply choose the video if you wish in my case, I'll just be leaving everything on. So basically this interstitial ad pretty much just means that you're going to have some kind of publicity and then afterward you're going to get a second screen that is going to prompt you if you want to download the, uh, the content of that publicity. I will just leave all of them on and I'll type video ad. Hit save and now we have our second ad unit ID. I will also copy paste this somewhere else. Alright, so once we do have our ad settings, once we do have those things, the uh, ad unit ID, now we need to actually install a SDK for Unity. If you go over to GitHub over here on this branch, which is also a link in the description below, so it's going to be the first link in the description below. If you go here and download this as a zip, you will actually get the Unity AdMob SDK. So let me actually show you how this works. Okay, so here it is. You will need some kind of archive application to uncompress this. So either WinRAR or 7-Zip. Just get the one you like the most and right click on it, extract. Now, once we have the extracted folder, there should be a AdMob Unity plugin. While your project is open inside of Unity, like, like right now, you can double click on the plugin and it's actually going to import it inside of your Unity folder. Now mine was already imported, so that's why it gave me this warning message. But basically you are going to get a plugin folder with the AdMob API in it. And also a folder for Android and also iOS. Alright, let's go ahead and create some kind of ad manager. So I'm going to create a new C Sharp script and call it ad manager and I'll just drag and drop it here. So what I was thinking of doing is actually having a ad manager something, some kind of object that persists throughout my whole application. So this object is going to not destroy on load. Every time I change scene, it's still going to exist, but I will be calling it from different places in my code. 
let me show you exactly how I intend to work with that. We are going to double click on the Atom Manager and inside of here I will make a public static add manager instance set get. Now in a private void start I will go ahead and say instance is equal to this and also don't destroy or load my game object. Now by doing this I can actually drag and drop this script in my very first scene. So create empty game object, this is going to be my add manager. Clean up the values a little bit and I will go ahead and just drag and drop this right here. Now this is in a scene that is never played more than once. This is what I call a preloader. So basically the way my game works is I load the preloader when the game starts and then we head over to the menu then to the game and then back to the menu and it's just we never really go back to the preloader and that is what I'm going to do here so I've put my ad manager inside the preloader there should never be a another instance of this and here we go so the script is on there I press on play and it should actually persist throughout scenes so right now I'm, the, I'm in the menu and it is still there if I just move to another scene it is also still there all right. All right, so now that we know that this is fine, let's go ahead and start implementing this add mob. First off, we will need to use the add mob namespace up here, so using add mob. And then a little bit below in the start, I will instantiate this. So add mob dot instance oh, add mob with a capital A dot instance dot initialize. So init add mob like this. Now my IntelliSense didn't really work, so let me just try again. There it is. So initialize add mob and this takes in parameter two strings. The first one being a banner ID and the second one being a full ID, which is also um, called the video ID. So basically what we're going to be giving it is the uh, the first ID we got when we made our banner and also the video ID we've got while making our video ad. Now I still got those lying somewhere here, so that is my banner. And let me just get the other one here, that is the video ad. Now you could also make this um, public strings, that might actually be a little bit more useful. And I'll just put them in here instead. So we will initialize ad mob using its banner ID and then its video ID. Alright, now back in the engine I will go here to the ad manager and then just paste my values like so. And we should now be ready to go. Okay, so by doing this we actually connected to our ad mob account but we did not uh, load our ads yet. We do not ever need to actually load a banner ad, but in case it is a video ad, then we need to load it before actually using it. So what I will be doing right here, since we are using a video ad in this example, I will say admob.instance load interstitial. And this will just go ahead and grab me a video on their website, a video ad, that I'll be ready to play anytime. So. So this way I don't have to actually download the video when I try to show the hat. So I don't have to do those two operations at the same time. I can actually buffer the video in RAM. And when I'm ready to show it, I just call it from my code. Alright, so now to actually show it, because right now we only um, initialize the ad mob and then we loaded the video ad, we never actually show anything. In order to show it, I will add some function down here. So public void. This will be to show the banner, so show banner and another public void show video. Now the call is fairly simple. All we have to do is say admob dot instance show banner and then you get to choose if it's either relative or absolute. I'll be choosing relative. Then you gotta give it a add size, so add size dot banner and a position which you can, uh, they also have an enum for that, so you can say add position 
dot say top center and then a margin in Y so maybe give it like a small buffer of 5 really depends on where exactly you'd like your banner to be okay so this is it for the banner now let's actually try with the video it's pretty much the same exact thing but we're gonna be adding a if statement prior to that so if add mob dot instance dot is interstitial ready so if, it, if the, uh, the video is actually loaded in RAM then we can go ahead and play it so add mob that instance show interstitial like this alright so this looks all very very easy and there's no compile error but what actually happens when we hit play is we get an exception because we're actually trying to run this and uh, w what's happening in the back end is that uh, AdMob is actually trying to run this Java plugin on a Android which we don't really have right now we don't have an Android in our hand we're actually playing this from the unity editor and it's just something that is not allowed in this case so every time we're going to be trying out our game inside of the editor we're always going to get this exception and it might get annoying it might actually block some other line of code so we can't really let that happen during the production now of course if you were to build this on your phone it would actually work right now but we are going to go ahead and just add some more um, preprocessor instructions so we don't actually load this when we are in the editor. So over here in the start, I will just encapsulate those two calls right here by saying if Unity Editor, so if Unity Editor like so, and just below it I'll do it else if Unity Android now close this end if right here and we are simply going to copy paste this every time we're actually trying to do something that uses hadmob and here we go now this way nothing is going to happen when we actually try to run this code from the unity editor well you could make something happen if you wish you could go down here and say debug dot log and just say um unable to play ads from editor like so and now once you try to play it you should not actually get this error anymore you get your game um, like before so it's the same exact thing as before alright so we've got our function now all we really need to do to actually have a result is to decide where exactly we would like uh, the ad to be shown so let's start with a simple banner ad so I've got my game rolling over here, that is my menu, that is my hub, and over here is my game. So I'd like to have a banner at the very top of my game right here. Now in order to do that, I will go ahead and just find in my code wherever it is that I load that scene. Uh, that is going to depend of course on your gameplay, for me it is over here. So whenever I load the game scene, I will go ahead and just do .show banner as simple as that now we could actually try and test this out but we can't actually see it right now um, and that is because it is only working on it's only working on the Android so in order to actually test this out we will have to build this which I will do right now so control B on the keyboard and I'm going to build this as an APK now here's the actual game on a device I'll get and just go inside of my device my game I mean and we will try and load an app up here now there is some cases where the ad is not going to show up and that is perfectly normal that is because they didn't find any ad to give you right now it's not it's just a bad moment for them to find you an ad using the settings that you've put inside your ad mob ad settings so now you're probably wondering well how exactly we're we supposed to test if we're not sure that we're gonna have like banners at this time or not um, we can simply do that by going inside of your start and we're gonna add another call in here so we're gonna say add mob dot instance dot set testing is equal to true and just by adding this call over here we should now get some placeholder um, that should actually just give you an ad at the right position and we will see this in a moment by building it on the phone and here we go here's another build we are going to boot this, go in here, 
and we should see the add up there. So here it is. I've also removed the margin. I used to do five, now I did zero, so it's at the very top. And this is a uh, test add. And it's really hard to see. Let me just move this around. So here it is. Nice job, you're displaying a banner ad, and I know the focus is really bad. But uh, you get the point, so our ad is here. Let's actually try out with a video ad now. So all I'll have to do is go inside of my code, so the tower over here, and instead of doing a show banner, I'll actually do a um, show video. Again, I will go ahead and just build this, it's going to take a little while, and we will then see what it actually gives us on the device. So again, final build, we should actually test out the video in this one. We go here, press play, and as you can tell, now a video would be starting or some kind of text or image, and then you'd have to actually click the little X at the very top here to remove this, and then you can actually go back to playing your game. And also guys, when you're ready to publish this, make sure you actually remove this line to remove the testing, so your user can get some real ads and you can get some real revenue out of it. Alright guys, that's going to be pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed this, I hope you learned something. If you did, please leave me a like, really appreciate that. If you have any question or comment, you can also leave them in the comment section below and also subscribe for more tutorials like these. Thanks a lot for watching and I will see you guys in the next one.